Welcome back. Now another thing you need to do is to determine how you want PayPal to handle payments that you make using your account. And to do that, you're going to go to this link that says Money, Banks, and Cards. Now if you intend to add funds from your bank account to your PayPal account, what you'll need to do is to link your bank. And you can do that by clicking on this link under the bank category that says Link a New Bank. If you see your bank, you'll be able to click on it. However, if your bank is different, you'll need to click on this link. And what you'll need to do to set up your bank account is you'll need to write in the routing number of your bank. You'll also need to write in the account number of your bank. And you'll need to determine for PayPal whether or not this bank account is a business account or a personal account. And that needs to be determined by the bank. So if you have a business account as set up by the bank, you'll want to determine it as a business account. You can also set up a credit card or debit card to be connected to your PayPal account. And what you'll need to do is to write in your credit card or debit card number. You'll need to determine what kind of card it is. And once you do that, your card will then be linked. And what you'll be able to do is to use that card as a funding source for purchases that you need to make. If your debit card is connected to your bank, you'll also be able to transfer funds from your PayPal account through your debit card to your bank. Once you have set up your funding accounts, at the very top of your page, you're going to see your preferred way to pay. And so PayPal will determine that any time that you are making an online purchase, it's going to first look to your PayPal balance. Now you can click this change link. And what you can do is you can make it so that you can have any of your payments that you have set up with PayPal to be your primary source for funding instead of your PayPal balance. You can do the same thing with in-store purchases and all you need to do is to hit this change link. And what PayPal will tell you is that when you are shopping in-store, PayPal will use your PayPal balance first and then what you'll be setting up is going to be your secondary source. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, also within your account settings, you're going to see payment preferences. When you click on payment preferences, you can determine how to block payments as well as your sales tax. First, we're going to look at the block payments link. You have preferences over payments sent to you in a currency that you currently do not hold. You can also block any multiple payments for a specific invoice that you have issued. Now, in addition to all of the other settings, one thing that you can do is you can block payments from individuals that do not have U.S. PayPal accounts. And this is going to be turned off by default. If you want it to be turned on, you'll need to tick this button to make sure it is going to be saved. Now, it's going to be fairly important that you do go through these elements to determine exactly how you want PayPal to handle any payments that are going to be made that are going to be out of the ordinary. You're also going to see preferences for sales tax. And what you can do is you can set up domestic sales tax rates for anything that you're going to be collecting for cases where you're going to be selling. And this may be the case where you may need to define a separate sales tax for all 50 of the states in the United States if what you're selling is going to be applicable to sales tax. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, there are several ways for you to add funds to your PayPal account. Now, once you have linked your bank, and you can see the bank link area, you'll be able to go to this link inside of your dashboard that says Add Money. Now, until you add your bank account, you won't be able to add funds from your bank account to your PayPal account. But once you do, you'll be able to use this link in order to transfer funds from your bank to PayPal. And according to PayPal, this process takes three to four business days. Now, adding funds to your business account can only be done through your bank account. Now, if you have a personal account and you are a United States resident or you have a local Walmart, you can add funds to your account through the app or what's called a Cash Plus account through Walmart. But again, this is only for personal accounts and not for business related accounts. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, when an individual wants to pay you, and they want to pay you personally for business reasons, they can use your PayPal account. And the way that you will request that they pay you 
is you're going to make sure that you're going to go inside of your profile and you're going to see an email here at the top. Whatever emails that you have set up, you can be paid from an individual for your business account by using this email address through their PayPal account. Another way to request funds is through your PayPal dashboard. And what you'll need is the individual's email or their mobile telephone number. And to do that, you're just going to write in their email address here in this dialog box. And all you'll do then is click the next button. What you'll then do is you'll write in the amount that they need to pay you. You'll then write in the note that states why they need to pay you. And then you'll click the request now button. You can also share your PayPal.me account. And you'll need to click this link that says share your PayPal.me. Now, if you currently don't have a PayPal.me account, you'll need to set one up where you determine what the name of your PayPal.me account is. And basically what this will do is this will allow an individual to use a web address in order to make payment to you by PayPal. So you'll need to set up the web address in the way that you want it to be. If at any time you want to turn off your PayPal.me, all you need to do is to toggle this button that'll turn your PayPal.me account off. Of course, what you can also do is you can send an invoice to an individual for services rendered. And we will cover that in another video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, if you have a PayPal balance, you can transfer that balance to any of your other funding sources. And you can do that by clicking this button that says transfer money. Now, of course, there are three ways that you can transfer funds to your bank account or to your funding source. One is an instant method. And basically what you're going to be doing by using the instant method is you're going to be transferring funds through your funding card with a 1% fee associated with that transfer. You'll be able to choose the card where you want to make the transfer. What you can also do is you can transfer funds to your bank account that takes about one business day and this has no fee associated with it. And all you'll need to do is to make sure that your bank account is set up and you can click this button that says standard. You can also have a check mailed to you. Now this actually takes between one to two weeks and has a fee associated with it of $1.50 as of the recording of this video. So everything in terms of transfer will depend on the linking of your bank as well as your credit or debit cards. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now if you want to send money, you can use the money section or you can use this dashboard. You can click send or request money. And all you'll need to do to send money will be to put the individual's email address or their mobile device number here in this area. What you'll do then is you'll then click next. Now when you're sending a payment through PayPal, you'll need to determine if you're sending this, if this payment is a personal payment. If it is considered to be a personal payment, there's no fee charged for sending this payment. However, if you're sending the payment for an item or service, in other words, you're sending it for business purposes, you will have a seller fee. However, this can be covered by what's called purchase protection with PayPal. And you'll want to make sure that you understand what's covered and what isn't when you're making a purchase or a payment through PayPal. In general, you're protected if you're charged for something you didn't purchase or if your order doesn't arrive or if your order arrives and significantly different than it was described. Now, another way to make payment using PayPal is to use a business debit card, which as of the recording of this video, carries the MasterCard logo and allows you to use it as a debit card at any place where debit or credit cards are taken. You can also withdraw cash from the PayPal balance from an ATM that accommodates your PayPal card. Now there is no annual fee associated with the card and all you'll need to do is to request your card from within your PayPal account. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.